In today's episode, you will learn how to make RFID and IoT based remote access door lock control system using Node MCU HP8266 Wi Fi module, MFRC RFID module, electronic lock, and Blink application. With the help of this project, you can remotely monitor your door lock from anywhere in the world with your iPhone or Android device. In the cell phone app, I added two tapes. One is used for monitoring each time a user swipes an RFID card, a message is received. The other tape is used for the remote access control. As you can see, all the buttons are turned on, which means I have given access to all the three users. If all the buttons are turned off, then the users won't be able to open the door lock. In order to open the door lock, Permission should be granted by the admin. Let's give control access to electronic clinic. As you can see, only electronic clinic can control the door lock. In this tutorial, we will cover number one, MFRC 522 RFID module technical specifications and pinout. Number two, complete circuit diagram explanation and finally, number three, node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module programming. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. As you can see, this is the MFRC522 RFID module. The MFRC522 is a highly integrated reader or writer IC for contactless communication at 13.56 MHz. This module has a total of 8 mail headers which are clearly labeled as SDA, SCK, MOSI, MISO, IRQ, Ground, RST and 3.3 volts. As per the data sheet, the typical voltage is 3.3 volts while the maximum voltage is 3.6 volts. This module can be easily powered up using the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The working principle of the electronic lock is just like the relay. It has a coil which can be energized and de-energized. We need 12 volts to control this electronic lock. As you can see, I have cut the red wire by connecting and disconnecting these two wires. The electronic lock can be controlled. These two wires will be connected with relay, common and normally open legs. As you can see, the circuit diagram is very simple. Let's start with the MFRC522 RFID module. As you can see, the 3.3 volt pin of the RFID module is connected with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The RST pin of the RFID module is connected with the digital pin 2 Ground pin of the RFID module is connected with the ground pin of the Node MCU module. The IRQ pin is not connected. The MISO pin is connected with the digital pin D6. MOSI pin is connected with the digital pin D7. SCK pin of the RFID module is connected with digital pin D5. And lastly, the SDA pin of the MFRC522 
RFID module is connected with the digital pin D4 of the Node MCO ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The 12 volt electronic door lock is controlled using a one channel relay module. As you can see the ground wire of the electronic door lock is connected with the ground of the power supply while the 12 volt wire of the electronic lock is connected with the common of the relay module and the normally open leg of the relay module is connected with the 12 volt power supply. Now by turning on and turning off this relay module the electronic door lock can be opened and closed. The relay module is controlled using the zero pin of the node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Finally this is the regulated 5 volt power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. This 5 volt regulated power supply is used to power up the node MCU module. J1 is the female power jack and this is where we connect the 12 volt power supply. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. A wire from the output of the voltage regulator is connected with a VN pin of the node MCU module and a wire from the power supply ground is connected with the ground pin of the node MCU module. So that's all about the circuit diagram. Now let's make the blink application. Follow the same exact steps. I connected the MFRC522 RFID module and the 12 volt electronic door lock as per the circuit diagram already explained. Now let's have a look at the Arduino programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. So first of all, I started off by including the libraries needed for the RFID and IoT based remote access door lock system. Next I defined pins for the SS, RST and electronic lock. This is the authentication code which was sent via email. I simply copied and pasted it over here. This is the name of the Wi-Fi router and this is the password. Next I defined a timer. FF flag E flag and J flag are variables of the type integer which will be used as the flags. All the flags are assigned zeros which means that by default the users have no access to control the electronic lock. So the flags values can be 0 or 1. 0 means no access while 1 means that the user can control the electronic lock using the RFID tag. 
the terminal widget is assigned the virtual pin V2. Inside the white setup function, I activated the serial communication for the debugging purposes while 9600 is the baud rate. Electronic lock is set as the output and is turned off using the digital write function. IoT underscore RFID is a user defined function which is executed after every one second. The RFID code is placed inside this function. Then starts the while loop function. As you can see inside the while loop function, we have only two functions the timer.run and blink.run. The IoT underscore RFID function is a user defined function which has no return type and does not take any arguments as the input. 99% of this code is exactly the same as used in my previous projects which I have already explained in very detail. Links to the related RFID based projects are given in the description. In this code I did a very little modification. I added these flakes. So this condition means if the RFID card identity number is 6671, 176, 30 and the if flag value is 1 then send a message to the serial monitor and terminal widget on the blink application and open the door lock for 5 seconds. When the if flag value is 0 the door will not be opened. So the F leg value can be 0 or 1 which is controlled using the Blink application. Similarly for the remaining two conditions. Finally these three functions are used to store the button values which can be 0 or 1. These values are sent from the Blink application through the virtual pins V3, V4 and V5. So that's all about the programming. The circuit diagram libraries and programming can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.